Hi, and welcome to Make Up My Book. My name is Leanne, and I'm glad you're here. I have uh, been MIA for a while. We'll talk as we get ready for my day at work this morning. So, thank you all for waiting patiently uh, while I got myself together. <laughs> it's been a it's been a, a an adventure the last well, I'd say couple of months total. Um, I have been quite busy at work. Um, I have a full-time job and it is, um, quite stressful at times. And this was that time I hired a, a whole team. And so getting them, you know, onboarded and, and started and stuff like that. I'm now responsible for these other lives <laughs> instead of just myself. Uh, that's a lot of work, but it's also, uh, I'm very grateful for it because that means that I have help, which is wonderful. And then also, I just uh, we had a we had a, a go live of, of a, a group of people at work, in which uh, for those of you who don't know, I work in uh, healthcare, but I work in the IT portion, so the the electronic medical record. Um, so I work on work with software and how people use it. And so we had a, a whole bunch of people who uh, changed software programs to the one that I support. And so uh, they were brand new. So if you've ever learned a new program at work or you had a new system installed at work, you know how stressful that can be. You're trying to do your job and you don't know the computer system either. Uh, so I'm the, I'm the support of those people who are learning that new computer system. So it's been quite stressful, long hours. Uh, and a lot of work, and, and I've been pretty tired. Um, and uh, so, yeah. So, uh, I figured we'd just get ready with some stuff that I've been using to get ready every day. I'm still wearing makeup every day, most days. Um, and I am, but I'm getting ready very, very quickly uh, in the morning so that I can get uh, to work early. And uh, get some work done before the meetings start, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some of us have jobs that uh, we have meetings all day, but somehow the work has to get done too. So that's where I am. But I got some new stuff to try. Um, I have almost used up, y'all. This is that Pond's Beauty Cream from Dollar General. Uh, this was a 40 mil, but I've been using it morning and night. It's been really good for a moisturizer for a dollar. I've been very pleased. I did want to show you um, some things that I got. Uh, one, like so my earrings. They're the cutest little, uh, uh, the little kawaii clouds with the little faces. I love them so much. They came from a company in the UK, and um, the name of the company is Felt Delicious Dreams. Uh, she's on Facebook, and she has a website, but she does, these are two bows that I ordered. This is another bow that I have not yet worn, but y'all look at this. She hand makes these uh, in England. Uh, this is a brooch. Um and there's glitters in it. I can't wait to wear that. Um, and here's another pair of earrings. I have a lot. Um, but this, again, this is the name of the company. And she has a website, but she also um, has a presence on Facebook. But here's the thing that I I was the most excited to receive. I love all of the, the items, but this is what she does like stunningly well this is why I went to her is she does these statement beautiful necklaces I mean just beautiful so um that is that's I'm so excited I also did a, custom, a couple of custom orders with her for some of these statement necklaces um so I can't wait I can't wait uh these are these are so beautiful um so highly recommend her her name is Emma she's a mom and uh she's lovely uh, if you get anything from her, uh, tell her I sent you because I have been absolutely adoring. I have more earrings are all in the bathroom where I take them off at night, you know, 
Um, I, the earrings are great. Um, and then there's there's other. I mean, she's got rings and she's got necklaces of all kinds. And anyway, it's adorable. Barrettes. I'll stop. But I love her. Um, and I just came across her on the internet and um, just absolutely adored it. Um, okay, so let me grab some new. I have a basket of new down here of stuff that I've ordered that I haven't used yet that I've just kind of kept squirreling it away for y'all um, so that we can use some of them together, darling. Um, and some of the stuff I'm like, mm. um, but I do want to show you some things. Okay, let's let's use this one today. Okay, so I, I've been sort of trying to, not sort of, I've been trying to use up some of these little things that are all over my vanity, which I need to clean, by the way. So trying to make a concerted effort to go ahead and use it up, right? Because I should, because it's almost done. So I might as well go and use it. This is one thing I was, I used the, the, the toothpaste getter outer thing that I got from Shop Miss A on the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For primer. It's this, looks like the professional, you know, um, looks gross, but it's like a pore filling, uh, smoothing primer. It's wonderful. Um, I've never, I would probably not buy it just because I have so many primers, but this one's not a bad one. If you like that, uh, kind, I mean, you know, it's, it, it does a good job of smoothing and all that jazz, which I appreciate. So that one's almost done, um, which is good because I need to, I need to use it up. I much prefer the Revlon Photo Ready pink one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the poor one too, uh, just for price, but it's very good. But this came as well. This is the, you can't even see it because it's so shiny. The, the Revolution Makeup Revolution, Illuminate and Glow, Illuminating Skin Perfector in Champagne. So it's, it's, it can be worn alone or underneath foundation or mixed into a product kind of thing. She's got a, it's a beautiful, you know, container, but it's showing every fingerprint I have. See what she's like. Oh, okay. So it's a kind of like a champagne kind of. Oh, okay. Oh, she has fragrance, y'all. Like a fruity, a fruity smell. Mm -mm. If you don't like fragrance, you don't like this. It is not runny. So. Here's my Tin Man product for the day. That'll do. That'll do. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. It gives a nice sheen. No glitter or anything like that. Let me grab a, a light, darling. Um, I've been getting lovely comments on videos from folks. Thank you so much for all your comments um, and for your support, liking my stuff, and I appreciate it. It's been... Y'all been amazing. So thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it it does not go unseen. All right, let's do... I've been using the primer potion from Urban Decay from back in the day. I pulled some products to do like a throwback video, and then I then all hell broke loose in my life, and I haven't been able to do it, but I want to. But this is one of those products that is a... Is a it's quite a throwback, right? Um, it was the original eyeshadow primer that I ever heard of, other than... Uh, Max Painterly Paint Pot, which, uh, and Soft Ochre, but this is the one that, that I heard eyeshadow primer for the first time, right? Like, it was, that was the OG for me. So, I got a couple of new products. I don't know if I'll, I'll show this to you, but I'm not going to use it today because I'm very close to using up a foundation. So I'm going to keep using it. But this I got. Um, hello. This is the Undone Beauty Matte Unfoundation Matte Tint. We'll use this soon. Um, Undone Beauty is the one that's like, let's squeeze it on my hand. Um, it's pretty inexpensive and it is uh, at Ulta. Yeah, there's, there's no coverage there, kids. But that seems like it would be a nice, like, real light weekend kind of thing. There's no coverage there, y'all. So I'm going to use my actual foundation that I wanted to use today. But this is one. 
we will try together. Let me put it in my drawer of to try. Um, let's see what else I got. Let's see what else I got. Okay, I got a couple of bronzers, which we can use today. And some lipsticks, which we can use today. Let's use this lipstick today. Sorry, just pulling all my stuff here. Okay, and what is this? Cover FX Matte, no, Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. We'll use her today. Okay, and then we got a new mascara. We'll use her today. Oh, yet again, look at this. Oh my gosh, y'all. How many of these have, do you have? Oh, so many. Oh, so many. And then a quick liner from Clinique. Like a one of these bad boys. Recycling was over there. Okay, let's go with that for the day. Um, oh, do we want to use that or do we want to use this? Hold on, we might use this. Hold on. This is the Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, the Stay All Day. Let's use this instead. Okay, we'll use that instead of the, the Clinique. We'll use the Clinique another day. Okay, now we've got all the things lined up that we're going to use. Darling. Okay. <laughs> For foundation, I ju just dun 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 dun. We're gonna use the Kat Von D or KVD Beauty, whatever. Um, good Apple Foundation Balm. Look at her. This is light 10, light 010. And I have been using it differently, and I want to show you how I've been using it. Light 06 came back into stock. I got the email. And so I had um, that like ready to order. So this is this is light 101. It is too dark for me. It is the wrong, it's the wrong shade. We're, we're, we got close. I think I had light 12, that was way too dark. Um, and then I got, I picked up 101. This is the hardest foundation for me to match. Um, usually I get it right on the second try, but this one, no. So then the shade that I thought that I would be, which is light 06, has been out of stock forever, darling. But I got it on Ulta. Um, it came back into stock on Ulta, which is where I had, I think, the email alert or whatever. Um, and so now I'm waiting for that. It should be here quite shortly. But I'm in the meantime, I have been using up the, the 101 because, no, 010, goodness, the 10 color because I love it so much. It is the foundation of my dreams. And it is, it's it's less expensive than the Kevin Aquan foundation balm, which is my favorite foundation of all time. I love the foundation balm. I love really good coverage, high, medium to um, almost full, if not full, if I wanna make it full. I love that. I have hyperpigmentation, I have redness, I have sun damage, I have um, freckles, all the things. Like, I've just, I've got them all, kids. And so, if I want to wear foundation, mostly, most days, I want to see that I'm covering up stuff, right? Like, this, some of this skin tint stuff, it's not for me on most days, because the reason I'm wearing foundation is to cover up stuff. I don't have perfect skin, and so I want to cover it up, or even it out really, really well. And a lot of the light foundations tints that are coming out now like tinted moisturizers or whatever it's not enough this foundation lasts all day on me and I've been just applying it with my sponge which is the difference normally what I would do is apply it with a brush and then go over with a sponge which is great um but recently I've been applying it just with a sponge and I don't know why I did that I think my brush was just either too dirty or something and I was like we'll just try this and this is done just fine I don't need the brush step. It looks gorgeous. So I have, um, I want to go ahead and use it up so that it's done. And actually Kat Von D has a, like the entire compact is recyclable, the whole thing, which is, I say Kat Von D, but you know, whoever's running her company now. Um, because, and that's really cool. Like all of her products are like that now. All of their products are like that now, which is nice. But I have been using the Kevin Aquas, um, what is it called? The Sensual Skin and Enhancer. This is an SX02. Sorry, it's gross, but it is. 
and it's it's this concealer that is incredibly expensive and they've just I think they've just reformulated it um this is this is an old one I have literally only been using what is in the lid that's all you need so I touch it with my finger and close her up tight because this will last me my whole lifetime and so that's it I warm it between my two fingers and then this is how I found it works best for me is to use my fingers to tap it in and to get the majority of the product a little bit lower than where I want it and then to blend up because if I place my finger right in that cavern right there which is where I need it the most too much product gets there and it does not look good. This is an incredibly pigmented, incredibly thick, but good product. So there's that. And then I'm gonna tap over it with my sponge. My sponge is damp. It's always damp. Um, and I'll just tap over it to blend the edges and that's it, y'all. I have been setting it with a little tiny, tiny bit of powder. So let's try out the Cover FX one that we have. I, I guess this was some sort of sample. Oh, how cute. It has a little lid. And then all I do is, for my under eyes, I'm going to take a brush and tap off really well. And then swipe it right where I just put that concealer. I can't bake. I can't do any of that. It's too much. So that's what I've been doing under my eyes. For the rest of my face, I've been just setting with the same powder. This does not seem like very much powder, but we're going to try it. Um, okay. <laughs> we're going to try this little tiny container with this big old powder brush. It'll work. It just take us a second. And just, uh, but the powder I've been using is the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass and the um, the no color. This stuff is amazing, y'all. Um, she's got, she's got different shades. I use the, the no color for the most part, but I have used the Ivander, which is the lavender powder. It's stunningly beautiful. Um, love it so much. It's inexpensive and it's, it's amazing. Now, Kimchi has come out with, um, some more, some eye duos, I don't have them yet, um, and I haven't ordered them. I'm, I'm thinking about whether or not I want, I'm ready to place an order, but she also, what else did she come out with? Is it, it was something else she came out with, and I just haven't placed an order. I probably will. Um, I've been so busy that I haven't, like, I haven't even ordered makeup. Like, I know that sounds crazy. Um, I get powder everywhere when I powder my face. So, look, it's everywhere. Um, so there's my base. It looks discolored right here. It's not in real life. I don't know what it is about, um, either the light in here and there's literally flickings of powder everywhere. There it is. I love it. I think it looks good. It looks, um, it lasts all day. It, I think it looks good. Okay. So I have been obsessed and I don't normally use that word with the physician's formula, butter, coffee, bronzer. It is, if you just get it, I use it almost every day. So I thought I would order the other two that I thought that I would like in the line, the butter donut and the butter cake. Butter donut arrived shattered. And then, so I told them and they sent me another one. It also arrived shattered. So I actually just repressed the dang dong thing. Um, it's supposed to, it, there was like sprinkles and it was really cute. It still smells fine. I just repressed it with alcohol. And I'm just going to use it. Like, I haven't used it before. Um, oh, she pigmented. Okay, well, we're going to have to work on that. Um, it does. It smells really sweet. Oh, this is ruddy. Um, the coffee bronzer is more golden, which I wear. It's fine. But this is definitely more my preferred kind of tone, which is um, more red pink. Because when I go out in the sun, I burn. I don't tan. So it's more of a natural color for me. Don't worry, we're going to blend. That's really pretty, y'all. 
That's a beautiful one. Um, so again, that's the donut, butter donut bronzer from Physicians Formula. Wow, that's really pretty. Blend a little bit, blend a little bit. Okay, for br for blush, it's so strange. I I got this, I don't know, in a box, which we need to talk about my boxes, but I got this in a box and it's the Beauty in a Blink Glow Getter Face Palette. It's some brand I've never heard of, made in the USA. Okay, anyway, it came and I was like, whatever. And then I just set it on my vanity. I've been using it like every day because one of these blushes will work for whatever I'm wearing. I'm not using the um, highlighters. And the reason is because I'm about to use up another highlighter. So I'm concentrating on that. But this, this little thing, and I'll tell you, this one down here, I have used it as a, like a, one of those blush bronzer combo things where I don't wear bronzer. I just put this on and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the light pink down here this morning and just, it's, it's just a pretty little blush palette. I love a face palette y'all so much because I don't have to really think. I just grab and then it, it works. So it's just been sitting here, not because it's the greatest formula of all time, but simply because it's here and it works every day. I haven't, there's not been a day that I'm like, oh, this won't work. It works fine. Okay. Just gonna blend, blend, blend. I know it's a little crazy. Again, more fliggins. The highlighter is still, it's, it's my go-to OG. The AOA Studio Velour Highlighter in Sometimes. She is jacked, cracked, nasty, but we love her. We love her. So it's like a putty. And this, this thing has been broken for, I don't know how long. And it's not dried out. It is perfect. So I just take it on my finger. And press it where I want it. It, I don't, it's like these people say these things like, oh, it melts into your skin. You can't tell where it starts and stops. Because there's, it's just shine. There's no pigment pigment to it. And so I just tap it wherever I want it. I don't have to like really focus on blending it, you know what I mean, into my skin, because it's already blended. It's just great. So I love it, Hi highly recommend it. It is a dollar. It, if this was the only highlighter I had the rest of my life, I would not be sad. It is wonderful. So I'm, I am trying to use it up um, because it's good. I mean, I'm, there's no hate panning. I don't, I don't hate things and then try to use them up. I use them up because I love them and I want to get the use out of them and I don't want them to spoil or, or whatever before I can use them. So that's my philosophy on using up products. And on that same vein of conversation, I, I've decided and I have already, I've had to cancel my subscription boxes and it's for my own sanity. And it actually is not about, it's, it's a little bit about makeup, but mostly about skincare. I have so much that it is beyond wasteful at this point. So what I've done is I've canceled my BoxyCharms and my Ipsy. And I've just, I've decided that with that, you know, budgeted money um, that I was using to fund those subscription boxes, that I'm, I will just buy whatever I want, um, you know, like I would normally do, but you know what I'm saying. Um, it is, it, I would get so many, so many skincare products and so many a month that I couldn't, I can't ever use them up and they will go bad. So what I'm going to do is um, use them. I'm going to use all my products and enjoy them. And have a good time doing so. Um, if, if at such a time that I have gone through the, the backlog that I have, then I will certainly um, resubscribe. Re I, love, I love them. I love the, the not knowing what it is, opening it up. I love that. It's great. Um, I enjoy it. And so I, sh I should do things that I enjoy. But it became, it's become so much that I can't, um, I, I, storage, why would I need to store all these things? So anyway, um, I'm thinking of a way to actually go through all my skincare and be able to film it, where I can actually sort it out. 
um, like serums, toners, cleansers, that kind of thing. I'd like to be able to sort it out to see what I have and see what types of products I have the most of. So I'm going to do that um, sometime in the near future. And I'd like for you to join me. This is something I got with the Ulta whatever days of beauty, 21 days of beauty. This is the only order that I placed. Um, and it was for the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette because um, I thought it was very pretty and I don't have it. So I bought it and I thought she was just really, really pretty. So let's use her for the first time today. I am still only using one, um, no, let me back up. I'm still only, I'm still using um, each palette one time in my collection. So I have, um, I have been collecting all of the palettes that I've been using, but I've not been taking photographs. So I'll do a catch up palette parade where I go through um, all of the palettes that I've used, whether or not I'll keep them, I'll do that uh, shortly. And um, then we'll get back on the, the normal palette parade schedule. Uh, for those of you who love palette parade, it is, it's, it's, it's very different. Most, most, most of my subscribers don't watch it, but I'll tell you what it is in case you're curious. Um, Palette Parade is the <laughs> it's the video where I actually go through the, the palettes that I've used this week and tell you whether or not I'm going to declutter them or keep them, but also um, show you the looks that I got from them. Um, and the problem with, with the collection that I have going right now is that I haven't, again, I haven't been photographing them. So it will be a palette parade of whether or not I'll keep the palette and what I like about it or what I don't. Um, and then we'll get back to where I show you the look that I do with each palette. Um, I just need to catch up, but I haven't been using palettes more than one day. So I've been continuing on with that um, just to get through my collection. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a long, long declutter is what it really is because I'm able to use the palette and decide whether or not it brings me joy. If it doesn't, then it's going to go. Like I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep stuff that I don't, that I don't love, um, or that doesn't perform very well. So, um, it's, it, we're going, we're going through it. We're going through the gigs, girl. Okay. This is going to be a fairly quick eye. Uh, oh, itching. You know, it's going to be a good day. I've been doing quite a bit of neutrals, a couple of colorful things, uh, just depending on the palette. But I have, um, I do have the new Tinkerbell from ColourPop that I picked up. I still haven't used it yet. It's sitting over there. Um, so at some point we'll do, we'll do a look with her. And uh, I haven't gotten much else as far as eyeshadow palettes. Um, Cause I have plenty, but also that I've just, I haven't really been doing uh, a lot of shopping because it's been crazy. All right, let's see. This is it's just just a beautiful neutral, but I've obviously picked the rosy shades. Um, and I would happily use this like throughout throughout a week, right? Like at work. Um, for work, I would happily, oh yeah, you need to use your fingers with these, just kidding. So, brush is fine, but fingers are much better. This is the shade Sparkling Sand. I love colorful looks. I also love neutral looks, and this one's a neutrally, a slight bit of rose in it, but that it's fall, so but this this shade here would be stunning. I did I didn't use it today because it doesn't go with what I'm wearing, but I would love to do that one. Uh, and then let's see on the inner corner. Let's use this glistening snow. She looks bright. Yes, she is. I like this setup of a matte and a shimmer that really corresponds with it. I think that's such a neat concept. Um, just like, you know, Lorac and, you know, all this. those don't necessarily go with one another. Uh, but this one seems like it was meant to be. The mattes are twice as large as the the shimmers, which makes sense to me. Um, so this looks like a, a good workhorse type of palette that you can get a lot of different looks out of. Um, but that you can also do a really quick 
super quick eye that is um, not very complicated. So um, I used the the warm warm rose shade, and then the nude shade, and then the mm, sparkling mm, sparkling sand shade all over my lid. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm glad I picked it up. It, I, but I'm also glad I got it on sale because I wouldn't pay full price for a, a, a lot of palettes. And so I'm happy to have that one in my collection now. I love a good nude eyeshadow palette. Okay, this is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. I have been obsessed. Another one. The Maybelline Precision One Master Precise All Day has been my go-to. I just, and then it's done. I love it so much. Um, so if you have not tried that one, that's the one I recommend. Let's try the Stila out. I don't know that I've ever used her. This was a sample. In my Ulta order. Forever ago. It can do a pretty thin line, which is nice. Oh gosh, or you can gack it up like I just did. Nice. Okay, now that we've gacked it up, let's try to make a match. pressure it'd be fine um that's not bad it's it's not bad this i'm telling you this is like in this i got some sample or whatever i would buy this one over anything else so far i do have the la colors eye marker this one dries shiny but it's fine um it's it's okay too for some reason i like i like these squatter ones maybe it's just more control i don't know but i've been having good luck with those for sure Okay, let's look at the Ardell Top and Bottom Precision Mascara. This is the ebony shade. I don't, oh, oh! Now y'all, I don't use bottom lashes, but maybe I have to today. It's a dual, this was a, another sample product that came. This is the bottom, look at her. Hello. Look at her, oh my gosh. That reminds me of the MAC, is it the Giga Black one? Um, this is, ugh. This is the top. Oh, I see it's big old cone. Okay. So actually, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna layer the bottom, I'm gonna start with the bottom on my top lashes to get a, a good layer of it, and then I will um, use the top over it. I don't normally do bottom lashes, but I will do it today because I have that. And then the lip that I'm gonna use is the Buxom Power Line. This is another sample that I got, but a decent size one. Um, this is in the shade, I don't know, Powerline? Nope, that's the name of the thing. Um, what shade are you, boo? Oh, Hush Hush Henna? Hush Hush Henna. Henna. Um, I can't even get the words out. Um, always sh sharp tip, waterproof, no feather color. Okay, we'll use her. All right, let's start. Let's do mascara. Let's do it. Try to let my liner dry for just a minute before I go in and curl because I can, it can come off. I don't know if this one can, but it can come off on your eyelash curler. So I give it just a minute. That bronzer really is pretty.
forgot to spray my face. Okay, let's go in with the bottom side and I want to get kind of catch each lash at the base like that now oh, let's do the top I know this is not how it's designed to be used, but I'm using it the way I want to. I love those super thin wands. Um, I just, I love how they get each and every lash. Okay, so here's the two of them layered on one eye. And then I'll do, I will do bottom lashes over here. Uh, tap out any concealer. Oh Lord, I got too much. We'll clean up, don't worry, darlings. But yeah, I need to clean up, don't I? <laughs> I went a little too hard at first. Um, there's not a good way to like kind of wipe off the the wand, so it's a little it's got a lot on it when you first bring it out. I have not been wearing any false lashes. I've just been doing mascara, which is nice. I mean, I work from home, so it's not like a I'm on video, but the video is not super high quality, you know? And so it's it's okay that I'm just wearing mascara to me. It looks fine, doesn't look. Also, I'm not doing like crazy colorful looks. And I seem to um, want a false lash when I've got a really nice colorful look on. And I've not been doing those lately, so it's worked out. Okay, back to the other side for the bottom. And then we're gonna clean it up. This wand is, it's it's tiny, which is wonderful, but I, I swear I can hit my, hit my skin so easily with it, so. I don't know. I don't know how we're, how I'm feeling about it, but it also may need to, you know, kind of dry out a little bit. I usually prefer a drier formula uh, as opposed to a wet formula. That's a personal preference, but I do. It's a little bit better. bit nuts over here. Hang on, I get a little bit in the spot that I missed. There we go. I don't love bottom mascara on me because of my eye shape, but if you do, this is a really small wand and boy howdy it deposits product. So this is the Ardell Top and Bottom Precision Mascara. There you go. There's that. Let's use the Buxom little lip pencil. It's the always sharp tip. Hello. This. It's like a teardrop shape. I might let me dial it back a hot minute before I break it.
beautiful color. It's creamy and pretty. It's a nice color. Okay. Why have I got so many fleggings? I'm going to top it with a gloss because I am a glossy person. This is the Buxom White Russian. This is my little mini. Um, I've got her out on my vanity because I would like to use her up. I have, I know, at least two full sizes of this. It's just a milky, slightly pinky. pretty. It works, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. There it is. There's the look. Do I have it in my inner corner? Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me that liner's moving already. No, it's okay. Okay. Shadow. Skirt me. All right. I'm going to do my hair and then I'm going to go to work. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I have missed you immensely, so thank you so much for watching. If you give my video a thumbs up, that would help me a lot. Um, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, <laughs> let's sort out my skincare. Um, I'm hopeful I can do that video either this week or this weekend. And let's I'll I'll show you why I needed to stop my subscription boxes. I've got too much. Um, thank you so much again. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye y'all.